One, one uh, message I really want you to listen to. It's called One of the Worst Christian Quotes. It's by Dr. Mark Allen Williams. He has a blog. This presentation will post to you on the bottom here, the link to it. It's on YouTube. Uh, if you'll just invest under 10 minutes, it's only 9 minutes and 40 seconds, listen to this. What do you think the worst Christian quote is? Well, let me have you encourage you to listen to it and see what it is. But I think if you listen and heed and think about and pray what Mark is uh, talking about there, you too will agree that I maybe need to do something more in my life. Now, Mark Williams uh, has spoken in over 50 countries, six continents. He's the author of several books. He's the vice president of Dynamic Church Planning International. And in 2010, Mark was chosen as the Alumni of the Year by Moody Bible Institute. And below you'll see the listing of his blog site, wonderful weekly readings, encourage you to sign up for him. The second person that's had a great impact on my life is Randy Alcorn. We've shown you the little books on heaven. Well, he also has five session small group discussion about heaven. We've done this at our chapel twice now. Uh, it has just been tremendously understood. One number one comment that people have made in the past is, we can't be so heavily minded that we're no earthly good. Eternal perspective has really changed my life from the fact that now I'm able to say, I am so heavenly minded, eternal perspective, that I am more valuable here on earth. The other book that he's written is the book on suffering. You've seen the little booklet about if God is good, why is there suffering? But this is his Bible study on the goodness of God. Assurance of purpose in the midst of suffering. After you read this, you'll understand more what I'm talking about, the power of prayer when people are having suffering problems, sickness, problems in their life. So there are two of many good references, but one of the two that's had the greatest impact, in addition to Ray Comfort, uh, Way of the Master, and Todd Friel, Wretched. All these are available if you'll just simply uh, Email me or look them up or look on the websites that we have here for you. Um, email me. I'll gladly send you a list. Thank you. Thank you for watching. However, this is not the end. This is only the beginning. Train yourself, then be ready for God to use you. Go make disciples. Pass this information on. At our chapel, we have a table that provides the seeds and the bait. The shop to help you gain confidence, we call it. God says, be prepared. Quietly trust yourself, it says in 1 Peter 3.15, to Christ your Lord. And if anybody asks why you believe as you do, be ready to tell him. And do it in a gentle and respectful way. The tools on this table are designed to help you provide answers to those that are seeking the truth. The Great Commission Act is in Acts 1.8, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. On the side panel to the left, Jesus says to his disciples, what joy awaits the one who sows and another who reaps? That's in John 4.36. On the right hand side, Jesus said to his disciples, Come along with me and I will show you how to fish for the souls of men. Matthew 4, 19.